Hello to all you Fire Alarm and Siren fans on YouTube. This is Epis Thunderbolt Fan 1000 here with another Siren video. Uh, this is going to be the finalish update for the Mini Allertronic for the... Uh, yeah, I think I said this is the probably going to be the last update for the Mini Allertronic for a while here. Uh, for the most part, I have it all completely done, as done as it's going to get for a while. Uh, basically, what we got going here is if we open her up, I was able to jam everything in there that I needed to get in there. It doesn't look the best, but I built this box a little small, so whenever I upgrade to a 1600 watt version of the Mini Allertronic, uh, I will be, or like a Mini AL8000 or whatever, I will redo this. So I don't know if you can see, but right here I have my power distribution board, so I have the Cyrotone power supply going to it. I have the 120... 110 volt input that powers like the whole amplifier switching system so these two relays and everything i have the baofeng charger and then i have a 12 volt dc uh whatchamacallit power supply so that powers the dtmf decoding board so back there i have a normal baofeng uv5r that's set to a certain frequency that's within the general use band so like for wonky talkies and stuff and then back there, I have the DTMF decoding board. That's the eight relay output. So it controls each of these signals. So st whale, steady, alternate whale, alternate steady, pulse whale, pulse steady, cancel, and s aux. So whatever I have aux set to. So that will control each of one of those. So right now, the bow thing has no antenna because as you can see, I'm not going to be able to fit an antenna in there. So the goal is to do what I did with this siren controller. Yeah, I got to put this one all back in the box and everything. But uh, what I did was, so this is the 4 relay version, because all I need is the 4 version for the AF timer. But uh, what I'm going to do is get one of these connectors that goes from, like, the coax connector down to, like, a, I forget what the model number is, but what's whatever the antenna input is for a bow thing. And then that routes out to this thing, which then goes out to the antenna, the big fiberglass whip. So I'll probably put a big fiberglass one on this one also. So I just got to get the antenna and the antenna whatchamacallit, the antenna jack, and then mounted on here somewhere. But yeah, it can be activated remotely now from pretty far away. I think I did it from uh, near my, near uh, school that's down the road from my block, so I'd say that's a good at least, without the antenna, that's a good block, over block or so. So yeah, I was going to get a audio of it, but, uh, tr well, I did get audio, but it's kind of really crappy because... A Alliant Energy Ash Plunda or something like that. Their tree trimming company for Alliant Energy came rolling past, and uh, the diesel engine overpowered the audio coming from here mainly because houses were blocking the array and such. So, yeah. I can give you guys a quick demo probably. I, I had the little rubber antenna in there for the bow thing so that way it doesn't get lost. And yeah, you can see it's just jammed back in there. As you can see, it's Boyer City. So I hope, like, this one's great because it's super compact, this version of the controller I built. But the next version is going to be a little bit bigger so I can have better wire management and uh, have more space to upgrade things. Because eventually I hope to do a two-way type system with this thing. And there's no way I'm going to fit another board in there or all the wires for current sensing and... uh door alarms and everything, I'm not going to be able to fit that in there. So I'm going to need to build a bigger controller eventually. And like I said, that'll be when I do the 800 watt version. I meant not 800 watt, this is 800 watts, but it's only running at 400. But when I do the 1600 watt version of this. So if we want, we can go outside here. I guess see what I did with the bow thing here. The other bigger bow thing. Then we can go outside and give her a test. Yeah, so like, the amp was on right there because you have to cancel it out after you hit chimes, otherwise it's just going to stay on. That's just kind of the way that one works. Lots of birds out here. As you can see, probably in all my videos, the 500 uh, and STL-10 intake are still chilling right there. Just got to find time to get them cracking on that stuff. Hopefully next week I can get a little bit done before winter again. So as you can see, there's the mini electronic up there and then the 
other mini other track the bigger one and then you can see the giant fiberglass whip over there so yeah model two is leaning pretty bad so i'm gonna need to throw up some guy wires for her but yep here we go maybe here this should work So as you guys can see, not bad. It's decently loud considering it's only 400 watts. So the 800 watt version should be pretty good. Like, and don't get me wrong, like it's not, not as loud as that on chimes. Like I've never tested it out here with a siren freak, like siren tone. Cause number one, every time I've tried to test it, it's been really gloomy out like this. I don't want to scare the neighbors, but for chimes, it's still pretty loud. Yeah, but as you can see, this is where all the antennas and stuff come in for the uh, Model 2 and stuff. So this is like the Model 2 antenna, and this is where the power for the Model 2 comes in. Well, not comes in, but goes out to the 2. So I just kind of, when I was little, I threw a baseball at this thing and then uh, cracked it. So what I did is that's where I just temporarily routed the wire from up to the Areta in there for now. But uh, yeah. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Uh, I'll update you when I have it installed at its new location. This is kind of just like in the primary beta, ta beta testing, or as Federal likes to call it, acceptance testing. And then, uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. The testing is pretty successful so far. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for when it's up in its final spot. I think it's going to be pretty cool when it's all said and done. So yeah, I think it's said thanks for watching already, but yeah, guys, if you like the video, give it a like. If you have a comment about the video, any questions or anything, leave a comment. Share the video if you think a friend's gonna like it. I think it's cool that we got this going on up here. Or, uh, yeah, that's like a setter. That's pretty much it. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, stay safe.